share this first. Oh, hey, y'all. What's up? It's your girl, Jay. And I'm my cookie. Howdy. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. What? What? Some symbolism. What symbolism? Did you see the piece just fall? I mean, no, I didn't mean like. That. See, <laughs> she's taking everything so offensive right there. But I mean, a cookie too. Everything reminds me of her. I want to finish this. I don't need you fucking it up for me. We can never go two minutes without swearing. Nah, that's a that's like that's really a dub. We're really never gonna get monetized. You know nah, what? Listen, it's not even just that anymore. There's so many rules and shit, and just the way we talk on this podcast. Fuck you. Know, I would have to edit way fuck it. too much shit. Bro. Fuck it. One day. Sponsors. One day. <laughs> sponsors hit us the fuck up so we can keep saying what the fuck we want. Yeah, to one say. day. And Jay says is gonna be the main sponsor for the for the long haul. Jayslay.net. J A E S L A Y E D. Dot net. All the hair care products. I ain't got my hair done today. Who's a cool fuck. sponsor though? Like Tony Hawk or somebody. Somebody cool. Jay Slay's cool. I'm about to say you should show up. No. no. <laughs> like, like damn. Man, Tony Hawk is sponsored. My nigga. I get what he's saying though. I get what he's saying. Patrick Chung is on my fucking promotion. Tony Hawk can sponsor you too. He's right there. But Patrick the Chung is Would you already not want on. Tony Hawk to sponsor you. But Pat, no, I like the fact that Patrick Chung is already on my sponsorship. He's gonna be in the commercials. You feel me? Is he? Yeah, that's a, that's bro. I'm speaking it into existence. No, that's bro. That's locked in. You what are we talking about? That's my whole brother. I literally go there for fun. Like on Sundays, just to watch the fucking game. And him, yo, he cooks amazing food. I keep telling him that he needs to go ahead and like actually just open up a fucking restaurant. But here's the thing. What about what? Patrick Chung and Tony Hawk? All right, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Yeah, you remember I, as a kid I used to play the Tony Hawk game? It used to be heated because I couldn't do the fucking flip with the damn skateboard. <laughs> I, was fil- I was filthy in that fucking game. I was about to game. say, I don't know. Y'all, it took me a minute to get nice at it. I was filthy in that fucking game. I love yeah, that Yeah, that's the only thing I hate about game. chocolate chip is like it gets on my fingers and shit. Yeah, that's everything. annoying. I hate soft like the chocolate. cookie monster. Yo, like, no bullshit. I really had like a um Snickers that w- with almonds. And then the, yeah, the no, chocolate was mad soft. That shit pissed me off. I took one bite and I threw it out. I was like, God forgive me. Actually, since I like throwing out fun facts, I did it last episode. Okay. I'll give you a fun fact. The Cookie Monster's real name is Sid. His name is Sid. Yeah, Why his do real you name know is Sid. The fucking Cookie Monster. Well, because all the monsters have actual names. Yeah. And that's not a name. That's a label. No, his real name is Sydney. Sydney. But it's Sid for short. I believe that. I can look it up. Yeah, there's lying. a couple of the monsters. Why do you know that? I know. I just, the only one I've ever known. I just know random name. shit. The only one I've ever known by name is like Elmo is Zoe. Huh? Elmo's real name is Zoe. No, no. I said the only one I've ever known. Besides Elmo, is Zoe. I think the one with the pink hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the only one I've ever known by name. Fucking Cookie Monster don't even sit. Yeah. It literally, like, what the fuck? Yo, Anthony. We'll make a whole board of shit. Ants fucking facts. (laughs) Fuck Snapple facts. He's putting them out of business. Like, what the fuck? Like, what? What the fuck would make you even know that? That's hilarious. I don't know, man. It's like, what, what the fuck? What the fuck made me win the 2002 Spelling Bee Champs? I got the medal to prove. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Every girl I talk to, I tell them that, and I send them the video of me wearing the medal. He needs to be stopped. I literally say win. that. He needs to be stopped. He never will. All right. Today's topic. Sorry, I'm so obnoxious. This shit's really good. <laughs> um, No, I'm not high. Which I should be, maybe, I don't know. Anyways, um, Travis Kelsey and his girlfriend. Oh. Well, ex-girlfriend, I'm sorry. His current girlfriend's Taylor Swift. Is it really? Did they ever confirm it? Yeah. He was at the fucking game with his mom. So what? I have a lot no, of... No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. She was hey, holding hands hold with on, the hey, guy. Hey, women aren't allowed to really speak on this conversation. No. There's been no fucking confirmation. What? It's all been insinuated. They're holding hands. The fuck does that mean? So what? It has all been insinuated up until this point. I think this is one of the greatest scripts I've ever seen in my life. This is amazing. This is grand. This is grand. Like, this is better than the Papoose, Remy, and Easy to Block Captain shit. Like, so, Nick, yeah, because it's never been confirmed. Nobody so they be, they could just be really good friends. No, 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 no. Clearly, it's something more than that. But... 
it's being played into way more. Like, why do we know this bitch is at games? Name another celebrity. There's been plenty other celebrities that date NFL players. Oh, I know. Why do we care? I why don't. are you trying to make us care? Call me crazy. I was watching, I was listening, listen, I was listening to Joe Budden podcast, right? And Joe Budden was like, yo, he wouldn't be surprised if this keeps up. They about a hop, skip, and a step away from somebody pulling Jay into that offense and going, listen, I know you have your little boy, Usher, <laughs> but <laughs> the numbers that this bitch is bringing in, yeah. we might have to adjust some things. Like, yeah, I don't think he's wrong. I don't, I don't see a world where they wouldn't do that. No, it's, it's true. She's making, she's breaking Super Bowl numbers for NFL games on a regular Sunday night. Yeah, no, she really That's is. That's insane. No, because not for nothing. Also, you know what? Matter of fact, so at the um, shop that I work with in Foxborough for the Patriots, because um, Taylor Swift had a fucking concert at Gillette Stadium. I was pissed as fuck that day. All right. Shout out to Marte Mapu, because that was the client that I was actually meeting that day. Mm-hmm. And a shout out to... Marksman Cuts in uh, Foxborough. That's the shop that I work at when I'm in Foxborough. But I was pissed as fuck. Because normally, from here, at J. Slay Studio, Deep by Mags, over to Marksman Cuts, takes me about 20 minutes. Give or yeah. take. That shit took me fucking 45 damn near an hour. I was pissed as hell. Because of Taylor fucking Swift. I've never seen so many white people in my life. I'm not going to lie. Bro, I've never seen... No, listen, listen, listen. I've been out to Foxborough for fucking Patriot games and everything like that. I've never seen as many white people as I've seen that day. What about Travis Scott concert? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, oh my yeah. God. It is not us that, that sells them boys out. Nigga, I don't really know many <laughs> niggas that listen to Travis Scott. I'm not going to lie to you. like the Yeezus album. That was his biggest... Like one of his yeah. best toys. How many niggas you know actually like listen to Travis Scott? Because I don't. I'm not. Like, I'm also not gonna lie. I don't really know it. I I can't. I can't name a Taylor Swift song. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, got, I know a couple. I don't that know. Girl, listen, Yo. I don't like her, but her pen crazy. Karma you know, is, is my shit. Me I and my daughter. That That's that. Karma is my boyfriend. I hate that song. I don't. I don't know these. No, songs. I love that Trouble. song. Yeah, that too. Like, no. She me has and, sneaky one. She has me, sneaky Me one. and my daughter literally be jamming out to that shit. And not for nothing, like, nah. But we've been more on, like, um, the old, like, pop R&B vibe the last few weeks. Yo, so, Rihanna, music, um, music in the sun. Mm. My daughter has been on a freestyle way, uh, freestyle music wave lately. So, she's been listening to, like, Inner Dream, Diamond Girl. I'm like, Stevie B. My daughter. Yeah. <laughs> like, you are... My daughter... Like... Listen, my daughter is totally my fucking daughter. Like, yeah, it's not even just her attitude and shit, because she really is, like, me and the Lord Jesus. That's my why... My yo, shout out to him, because he really fucking deals with my shit. Because me, I'd be ready to throw my daughter... Far. <laughs> like, yo, I'd be sitting there, and I'm like, damn. And, and I can't even... And I think, to me, out of all the traits... Because she's me. That's my twin. Yeah. Her having my ear, like, the way she hears music is insane. Like, she'll hear a song one time, and that's my daughter. be able to break that shit down. Like, I'm that's like, my hey, daughter. She has my ear, bro. Yeah, because I love music. I'm a music junkie, mm-hmm. so yeah. But anyways, so, like, the whole point I wanted to get at with the Travis Kelsey ex and all that other stuff is because she went on Dateline, Damn, and... Right yeah, <laughs> the fuck? Because... ADHD and getting the best right, of us so today. The irrelevant ex that no one cares about went on Dateline. Yo, it's crazy because she's literally from seven years ago and she's sitting here and she's talking about this man and she's sitting here like, I had him first. Like, first off, Ray J Jr. Um, hey, it, hey, <laughs> hey. We don't tolerate no Ray J slander here. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> Anyways, talking about I hit it first. Like, who cares? Secondly, I really don't understand because this happens in real life. Okay, and it really does come from a specific community because not for nothing. I'm sorry to say it like this, but in urban community, we get this type of drama that ain't no fucking drama, but they want to make it drama. That happens a lot. That's because they only like displaying us in a certain light and our people like idiots. always Fucking consume it like. Like nobody's Ooh, business. I need the tea. Bitch, go drink some coffee. Not even just that, but to sit there and even be like on some shit because obviously social media is very prevalent in our fucking society now and in our everyday lives. 
sit there and be like, oh, this person's lurking on me because they showed up as a fucking uh, people you may know on Facebook. First off, motherfucker, people who you may know is based on the algorithm. They ain't got shit to do with somebody clicking. And if that's the fucking case, why you show up first? Because I guarantee you showed up first. Anyway, I digress. That sounded personal as hell. Because people really... Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> people Three literally... Things. No, because people literally, like, it mind boggles me. Like, you know what bothers me so much? Like, including with fucking Ch- Travis Kelsey's ex. You swear you're not bothered. But you're clearly bothered if you're sitting here talking about his current situation. You're from fucking five plus years past. <laughs> I'm just saying. Am I wrong? <laughs> no, you're not wrong. We, we didn't stop you. You know what I said? You were wrong. We, we didn't stop you. But I'm saying, no. Nah, but that shit really, really just like, it mind boggles me enough for nothing. Like, <clears throat> my baby daddy's are non existent in my world. Like, I got my kids on Amazon, if you ask me. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't exist in my world. Where's like, I, I, no, whoa, chill. <laughs> We're not explaining <laughs> here. We're not explaining <laughs> here. No, they're not no cabinets or nothing. They're like, all right, all right, Amazon. Right, make it short, make it short. No, like, they're like, they're from the stocks. You remember the, the movie? Oh my God. Stocks? Yes. That's where my kids came from. Okay? You so. Whatever. Storks. Storks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Storks. Stocks. The fuck is a stock? The arm is missing. Stock. New England at its best. I You've been watching Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah, all right. Park. All right. The storks. That's where my fucking kids came from. The storks. Yeah, and not for nothing, like, my baby dies don't exist. My daughter's father. I'm going to put all that shit out right now. Like, oh, my daughter's father had two kids on me. We were, in, we were like, three years in. He had two kids on me. And then he went ahead and, like, I was so done with the situation. You know how a woman's really done when she goes ahead and she, like, folds all your clothes nice and neat and packs it to the side and, like, just come get your shit? That's where I was at. So, we, it took us a while to get cordial, but at the end of the day, like, he ended up dating someone who I thought was his cousin through marriage, but apparently that's whatever. Anyways, part of the matter is, I don't care what my baby daddy does. I, till this fucking day, from my daughter is about to be 13, I don't care what my baby daddy does. I'm not worried about my baby daddy. Never was. As long as my daughter's being treated correctly and she's not being disrespected, I'm not being disrespected. Like, you know, as far as, like, you know, shit is kept cordial and I do my part as a mother, that's all that matters. So what else? Everything else is irrelevant. If you're a fucking Debbie, be a Debbie. If you're a fucking great mom, be a great mom. Like, all else is really irrelevant. Pick a side and fucking stand on it and let life go on. That's just how I feel about it. Do you have a take? I think uh, this light should be red. <laughs> it can't be. He oh, forgot. Red yeah, red yeah red he red forgot red the other lights. It's all right. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely a red light. I might just put like a whole red filter. Over <laughs> yeah, you have to, man. Because Listen. what the fuck? Because, <laughs> yo, people got me fucked up. That's what it is. It shit got me pissed as hell. Because it's like, and then on top of that, right? So another <laughs> topic of conversation. Uh, I'm listening, girl. I'm right here with you. Oh, well, <laughs> we with you, girl. No, you know what really kills me, right? The new generation of females, right? We're going to go with the Gen Z group. A lot of them don't know they're from getting ass from the elbows, like you uh, said. They don't even know their fucking gender. Right. So they're sitting here and thinking that a nigga needs to bend to their fucking will, sit there and like, what, what else would you say? About Gen Z? Yeah. Oh my God, where do I begin? They're fucking idiots. They don't know nothing. They don't know their ass from their elbow. They're the fucking elbow, morons. Yeah. I feel like they were all in special ed and made cookies in a fucking basement. They don't know shit. Speaking of cookies, I'm the nah, last one. Honestly, I don't, I don't agree with them, but. <laughs> it's the easy. that I do find weird, and then we can either get back to the Travis Kelsey shit or we can get off the No, no, no. We wasn't really there. <laughs> all right, it, was so, about the, it was about the fact that she's trying to make just, herself it, relevant. Yeah, it was just. Like, bitch, you're not relevant. Shut the fuck up. Let him live his greatest life. Then you want to sit there and throw shade like, oh, he's only with her because of the fame and glory. Well, listen, if you want to say that you're you're a fucking uh, downgrade and he fucking upgraded, you let it be. I, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to get to my opinion in a second. But, Shit. But what I do think Ant is kind of right on, this new Gen Z thing that they're doing with like everyone has some type of mental deficiency. Oh, yeah. I think it's the dumbest thing in the world. Everybody's autistic. Everybody 
has BPD. And everybody has, like, all these self-diagnosed people. It's unfortunate. Like, I know people that really deal with BPD. I know people that are really autistic. I work with autistic kids. Like, for you to just, 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 uh, throw that label on yourself so you can get away with fucking asshole behavior, I think right. that's the most disgusting thing that that generation does a lot. I think they're very entitled. All these people, yo, No, but you know what, though? The, hold on. Go into the YouTube world and look up a, look up a streamer named Destiny. Yeah, I, I, I know who Look that up is. anybody that associates with him, and they all somehow have all of these conditions. Sneeko yeah. is fucking hilarious. I'm this, and I'm that, and He needs I'm Jesus. This. No, you're an asshole kid that never got their ass beat because it's wrong to beat kids now. Yeah, that's so it is. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't so have it autism. Is. So it is. And it's like, it's like, it's it's just, they're just weird. They're just like, listen, I've had conversations with my brother. My brother's 21, so he's in that yes. generation. And I've had conversations with his friends. They're fucking weird. And I used to think it was just his circle. No, that's and true. then that's like I venture generation. when you venture out and you meet that's these other generation. it's just them. I'm like, bro. Like, it's almost like that's the new cool thing is to be odd and be weird. And here's a yeah. weird thing about them. They don't fuck bitches. No. That's weird to me. They're content huh? with it. Because I'm like they, 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 they don't get they're not we outside. Know what it means to be outside. Huh? They don't get bitches. We know what it means to be outside. We know what it means to go out, get house parties. And they be outside. They no, they don't. they don't. They don't. They are all in Discord all fucking day. With yeah, each other. yeah. Nobody leaves the house anymore. Dog. They don't I care. Promise. That's fucking. And weird. they don't care about. It. They don't care either. It's That's like yo, what their life is. Everybody's on stream. Everybody's in Discord. Everybody's watching the same shit. So it's like, yeah, they're still friends. I'm not saying that. I think that Discord camaraderie, com- camaraderie is great. I'm in Discord servers. I have no problem with Discord. My son but you've been there. outside. Exactly. <laughs> I I'm from a different era, so I mm. know how to distance myself. These kids, that's all they have. Especially if somebody is considered a social outcast or whatever the case may be, they don't have to be uncool. When they they don't have to be uncool ever if they can yeah, go to a community. Like Sneeko. Cool. No, it's not because Sneeko's weird no matter where he goes. No, I'm saying though, but I was watching a documentary based on um like his upcoming. Wait, wait, wait! Hold the fuck up. They made a Sneeko documentary. Yeah, no, yeah J J J Aubrey. J Aubrey. That's his name. No. Jay Aubrey is a YouTuber. Aiden, a couple of yeah, no, he literally Aiden and Ross and all them. He literally made world. YouTube videos on them, and they, he talks about their weirdness and de- demise and everything. Even Bro, like yeah. the but again, these are even kids. like the Ace family and the how Prince family. How old is Like no, like this Jay Aubrey on on YouTube. You guys check him out. Um, how old is Nico? He literally made all different. He did it on Andrew Tate and everything. Like he has Nico all different be types. 22, 23 years old, I think. Yeah. Right about but now. see, the thing is, like Andrew T, the Andrew T kind of falls into our era because he's only like thirty five. Cap- Andrew T capitalizes yeah. on what their those behavior. Kids are into. Yeah, yeah. Kids are into. but again, he's outside. But again, he's in a club a lot. That's Sneeko, why he's able to manipulate them because he sells we, the dream. Anybody from our era can wrap, can run circles around these kids. Yeah, they don't know shit from a hole in the wall. Trust me, trust me. So I, I know. I listen. They all come to all my brother's friends come to me for shit because. What they're what what they don't do is what I already did. They they don't they don't know how to they, they don't know how to talk to girls. No. They don't know how to you know Everything seal the so deal and fuck a girl. Everything like they don't so know. With them. Fam, do you matter if I hold on? I don't know what our next topic is. I know we're rambling. Do you know Instagram? Um, not Instagram. Tinder dropped a five hundred dollar premium tier. Huh? The website Tinder, the app, the dating app. They have a new tier now because before you could do like uh, Tinder Premium and you get like unlimited swipes or you could see exactly who likes you so you could like them back instead of playing the guessing game. There is a $500 tier now where you have unlimited selection of whoever you want and you're allowed to DM up to two people a month that you didn't match with. Because you know you can only message if you match. You can... So... Yo. Are niggas oh, really man. down that this bad crazy. that they're paying five hundred dollars to still get rejected? Because if I didn't match with you, what the fuck makes you think she likes what you? What makes you think you can say some extravagant shit besides I'm gonna pay you? That's gonna make me change my mind. I mean, but, if you could pay the five hundred dollars here, clearly you could pay. But see, like, and clearly you're that desperate. And if, if any woman is not seeing that, she's insane. Backpage is no longer in service. But like, it's, it's getting to the point, itself. right? It's getting to the point where it's like. Those 23, 24, 22 year old women, they're trying to fuck guys our age. Yes. Because we're. And they lead with up the, to them. What bill you gonna pay? Can you pay my car? No. But it's Can not you even pay that. my insurance? It's not even Can that. You? They're, they're, they're thinking about like, I've been living for this whole time and guys don't approach me. 
this 30 year old nigga just woke up to me like I didn't fucking matter and told he me. He used to go outside. Yeah. So when he sees a woman, he Listen, talk to a woman. I've had you conversations. Don't talk to women, I've had bro. conversations with women where they're like, I don't get approached because I'm like, yo, you're so, uh, I'm, you're, you're bad. Like I know, I know niggas approach you. They're like, believe it or not, no. When a nigga approaches me, I instantly give him my number because I it don't happen don't, to me. Yeah, don't get that. That's my weird. Little brother, my little brother and his friends that go out, they're like 23, 24, 25, like around that age. Yeah. Their success rate is through the roof because they talk. My little yeah. brother grew up around me. He had yeah. a game. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So like, it's different, but their success rate is so high because none of them, I've seen them be with their group of friends and I've seen him yeah. and him and his boy that, that, that they're kind of like similar. I've seen them hit and all of their friends yeah. fail. But see, you see with Johnson, it's like, that's weird. You know why you think that's weird? Because you grew up in an era where if you, you went outside, you had 20 niggas holler at you. If a right. nigga saw you and saw you look good, they was talking to you. Not for mm-hmm. nothing. Until this day, like, I even had to show my DMs real quick just so yeah. someone understands. But not, even, not even just for the women being weird. In general, no, no, the men being weird. In the general, women are weird too. In general, what makes up, what makes, what, what fad that's on the internet right now makes any man think it's safe to talk to a woman? You True. can't even look at a girl in the gym without getting fucking recorded. True. Yeah. Shout out to Aruko TV because he. Be, but you also got to give him. You also got to give him that, that little. Uh, that the white dude that be see, on? no, uh, that's um. He's he's black. He's from I think London, but he he really be having a whole bunch of like compilations and that should be funny. Oh, you only gotta does send it, me the link. He only does it What's for gym name? videos. You gotta send me the link. No. Oh, you talking about Joey Swole? Yes. Yes. Arako TV. Oh my god. A R A K O TV. I don't think I love it. Joey Swole. He's the one who puts him on blast. Like, yo, what are you doing? I gotta, I gotta see it. Off. Like he breaks. He doesn't just say shit. He breaks down how wrong they are and why they're wrong. He's like, if you look here, he's looking at the weight. He's not looking at ass. If you look at this angle, it's about 45 degrees. Oh, yeah, I want to see that. I want to see that. Like, he be breaking it I down. I want to see that. He's like, you were on the machine recording, taking forever. He walked up to you to ask you if he could use the machine. Because he probably has to go somewhere and do something fucking important instead of recording. Yo, he yeah. be Because the girls like, because girls would be like, he's staring at my ass. He's like, maybe he's not, he's not staring at you. Maybe he's staring at the four foot fucking tripod in front of your fucking yeah, face. Yeah, like, y'all got a whole <laughs> setup in the gym. Niggas don't want to be on camera. Like, yeah. the fuck? Yo, I love Nah, Arako Arako TV has um some funny shit too though. But see, the thing is, it depends who it is because if a guy's like, if you're trying to approach, I mean, there's a fine line between creepy and yeah. flattering. If you're the, trying only, to... the only the only line is how attractive you should. Exactly. Because here's the thing, right? A lot of girls post up DMs. Wait, this nigga's in that... my DMs, right? You know why they don't do it to me? Because I'm in a lot of girls' DMs. You know, you know why they don't do it to me? Because you're fucking. Number one, you're responding to me. Number two, you know I don't give a fuck. Put me up there. I don't give a fuck. What are you gonna do? Um, so you know how there's that fine line between flattery and um harassment. Depends uh, yeah. what you look like. Does that work for men too? Absolutely. Yeah. Because trust me, I, there's... Well, there's a difference between fuckable and not fuckable. Yeah, there's a difference between whether or not I'm gonna be a basket you made or not. Like a how what? big of a basket I am all depends on your attractiveness. Because women are terrible at shooting their shots. Oh my god, you're fucking awful. I've historically been bad at it. There's not a woman on this planet that has game. No, women don't Kobe, have game. Kobe, don't, don't play have, with me. Women don't have a game, bro. No, I got game. Fuck out of no, here. Women don't don't play game. with me. Trust me. I do. And it's the girls. Don't that, try to play me right now. I and definitely And do. it's the girls, and usually the girls that slide in the DMs, they look like fucking women, trolls. Women's version of having game is tricking. No, 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 yes. no. What? All right, give an example because I, no, I don't subscribe. That's all. That's the, the ill and it. What's the biggest telltale sign besides fucking you that a woman likes you? Buys you shit. Yes. Huh? Buys you shit. Yes. Lives, and moves, and moves you in. Ask a hundred men, a hundred men are going to give you that answer. Buys you shit? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's why, that's why real niggas, no, hold on. Let me get to the point. You can go whatever you're about to say. Real niggas, all these women that talk all this shit about, oh, I can't get with a nigga unless he paying my bills and all of this shit. There's a nigga laying in your bed right now about to put on some Jordans you bought because he blew your fucking back out yeah. laughing at your stupid ass while you on Instagram lying. Everybody. How many fucking girls? How many fucking oh, hold girls? Hold on, but we're talking about shooting shot versus liking a nigga. That's two different things. No, it's not. No, it's the same shit. No, 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 no. Because no. at the end of the day, as far as shooting a shot, it's literally signing the nigga's DM. What does that, that turn into? If we like you, yeah, we're going to spend on you if we really like Johnson, you. When you go into a nigga's DM, do you have to spit game or do you have to just say hi? I have okay. pretty. So I have wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I have pretty privilege. That's different. 
So do if so if so a pretty every girl that we want to make the basket. Like, that's why I said how big of a net we are depends on how you look because y'all are terrible at spitting game. Yeah. So if a sexy the side eye emoji is be, not I'll, I'll tell you right now. I'll tell shit. you right now. As a man, there's two men in here. As a man, beautiful women do not slide in our DMs. We have to usually do all the work. So when a beautiful woman slides in our DMs, either do we they think just she's, hide your stories. Either we yeah, do that too. Either we think she's a catfish. Like this girl can't be real because why? About to ask for money. Or oh yeah, she's about to ask for money. <laughs> so if a woman genuinely wants to have a conversation with us and wants to get to know us and actually has interest in being with us, we're easy as fuck because it never happens. It's like it's like what I said about these so girls. So maybe then I don't have game. Maybe you guys are just easy as fuck and I actually care. Because it don't happen. It don't. We have to. We have to go through fucking obstacles. We have to hit you up. We have to take you out. We have to pay for the dates. We have to do. We have to pick the way that we want to fucking. No, take but then you. they're gonna have a banter personality. That's why. You know what's crazy. I'll never do it because it's against my religion. But like, all of that that you just said, I understand why niggas would just fight and prostitute and pay for it. Yeah. No, I you understand. You want me to go through all of that to maybe fuck me? After I do this three times? Yeah. Do you know how much pussy I can get with the $1,000 I just spent on you? Yeah. That's, but you know what I mean? she's just going to get up and leave after. You gotta, we gotta go through, as men, we gotta go through all these obstacles just to fucking get, just to possibly fuck you. Where if a woman is in, besides on our DMs and we actually, we're actually attracted to her, we know right then and there she's gonna, she wants to fuck us. Because it don't happen to us. So, of course we're gonna be easy because it don't fucking happen to us. Any guy who sits here and says, I got fucking 30 bitches in my DMs that are just all trying to holler at me, they're fucking lying because it just don't happen. It don't happen. It don't matter how much money you are. three minimum and you might have... All the girls, see, this is what a lot of niggas do, because I, I have, a, I have a, a person in my life that, that does this a lot to women, where niggas will initiate and love bomb the hell out of a girl and then start ignoring her so it looks like that she's on his dick. There yeah. are a lot of men that do that. I think those are weird acts. That is weird. Even my friend that I'm referring to, I think he is a weirdo for that. Like, that's weird. Like, that's weird nigga behavior, because, like, if the bitches naturally fuck the women, I'm sorry. If the women naturally No, I said you, you had it right. Nah. If the women, there's a difference. That's why I'm saying that. If the women naturally flock to you, that's fine. There are some men that just have that kind of undeniable like energy towards women. You see, you and you've seen how women just like talking to me. Yeah, you've seen it. You have to get the gab. Women, women like talking to me. It's fine. It has worked to my advantage my entire fucking life. I feel like I'm the best friend that you could talk to, but I'll blow your back out at the same time. It's fine. That's my gift. There are other niggas that can just look at a girl and they want that. Those are few and far between. But the niggas that go through, you know how much work it is to make a woman like you? Oh, it's a lot You are of work. doing that time and time again just to then ignore her to get some weird ass self It's fucking, that's, that's woman behavior. Because women that, do that. That's exactly what Women it is. do that. Where they, where they feed into your shit and then they and just. And they make you play cat and mouse for the next Yeah, time. yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Trust me, I'm, I'm doing it now. I mean, that's what we're taught. That's what you're taught, right? Guy, men ain't taught. Men that's how, that's how you know he was raised by, that's how you know he was raised by his mom. But. No, no, no. He wasn't. But he does have issues with women. He has women issues. So his behaviors are a reflection of that. Yeah. Because when you have issues with the opposite sex, you tend to adapt their behaviors to then portray it back on them. That's what a lot of women do, where they have men, they have men issues, so they just they try adapt. To act masculine. Yeah, I try to act masculine. And and it's, all right, let's I talk about I that real quick. I ain't met a woman besides Hold Michelle on. Rodriguez that masculine energy looks good on. Go ahead. So when we talk about. Um, when <laughs> oh my god, I like her. I like that one. She's Puerto Rican, right? Huh? She's Puerto Rican, right? Oh. All right, Ooh. so, anyways, wipe the drool off your face. I'm sorry. Um, when we talk about I'm sorry, when we talk about uh, women coming off with masculinity and then the conversation about like, oh, if I meet a man who um uh, makes me feminine type of conversation. Yeah. Which is insane. It is insane. Um I actually was having a, I was having that conversation. I feel like the only way I can try to process the point that they're trying to articulate that they're not articulating well is is that like uh when we talk about a female withholding um masculine traits is that what she's like a go-getter, she's getting shit done, she has a dominant personality. She's uh essentially like um a boss bitch, right? We we can agree to that. I suppose. All right. Now I feel like what the women are truly trying to say that oh, if they meet a man that is masculine, 
and presents himself that way, that that allow, allow her to rest in her femininity. It's in the only way that makes sense in my mind is the man that is coming in with the masculine um, presence removes the masculine responsibilities of that woman. Therefore, she's able to rest in her femininity. We already answered that. Mm. Yeah. What the fuck? So if I, so if I come... So the only way for a woman to not be masculine is for someone to come in and be her fucking father? So How is it your father? If we're talking you, about men sitting there... If, if you've done all this work to build yourself up and be this person, why why can't I come in and continue to enjoy... What if I enjoy this this, this person that you are? What do you mean? What if I like the fact that you get your own... And you, no, 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 no. I'm talking about... All right. What if you're misindependent? You see, this is, the, this is the misconception. Hold on, because I know what you're about to say, but this is the misconception. Doing good for yourself, having your own, and all of that shit, you can do all of that and still be fucking... Nah, I, I agree, because... It's a choice to me, act like Me, nigga. personally, I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of people would put me in that category of a boss bitch because I own a business. I've been in business for myself legally for about six going on seven years on paper. And, like, as far as, like, getting shit done, I am, you know, I've had, you know, relationships where I've been helped and everything like that and everything, uh, whatever. But as far as the foundation and everything I do, everything has always fall on me and everything that gets done for me and my kids are all on me. Hold on. What I'm saying is, is that, but when it comes to a relationship, I'm soft as fuck. To me, a lot of, a lot of people will literally sit there and, like, assume that I'm this like driving force, like, oh, I want to have, I want to wear the, I am soft as fuck. I am a fucking simp for my nigga. Like at the end of the day, I have no problem sitting there be like, babe, what do you need? But again, that's my point. How can I help you? How can I love you? Are you okay? Did you eat today? My wife is like that. My wife, my wife makes just as much money as I do. She makes just as much money as I do, but she's still super. Happy. I've she's even made more she's money than the nigga that I've been I with. I didn't work for fucking eight months. <laughs> no, but I'm saying like I've been in positions where I have I I was the breadwinner, and I'm still coming like, babe, how can I help you? Yeah, babe, like, what can I do for you? Babe, you want me to rub your feet? Like I literally, my that's like girl, my girl. Even at the point where she was making a little bit more, if she wanted to go on a day or whatever things be like, she'd be like, yo, babe, let's go out. Yo, babe, let's do this. Yo, babe, can you buy me this? Like it's because she knows I'm gonna do it for you because that's our thing. I like doing for you. Like, mm-hmm. but obviously, if you gotta hold it down, you gotta hold it down. Whatever, you can still have your shit together and be feminine. But you don't wanna have a nigga force the masculine energy out of you, bitch. You sound like you wanna arm wrestle. The fuck do you mean? I need you. I need. Mm-hmm. I need you to do this, this, and that, so you can stop being feminine. Well, I need a woman, so I'm gonna go find one. Right. And good luck. Because the way, but when y'all say that, right? It Not makes butch. no. It makes no. It makes no damn sense. Because what if I walked in the door, right? I'm wearing a fucking person heels, and I'm like, I'm not gonna act. I'm not gonna throw on sneakers and act like a man until. Exactly. You- Thank you. Thank you. They're gonna call you all types of weird, crazy, gay, all of that. They're gonna, they're gonna defame you. They're gonna call the you same, the f word. It's the same thing. Oh huh? yeah. They're gonna call you the f word. Oh, especially oh, a black woman. Oh, she oh, gonna yeah. do that. Oh, oh yeah. Instantly. Oh yeah. But again, they're gonna go with sign language. So, um, uh, what is it? Uh, fuck, damn. Why didn't I even know sign language? I see. Here's the thing, right? I'm, I'm not really. I know, I know. It's insults need to be right and guilt. I can't remember the first one. Wow. So I don't really know sign language. It's not sa- sass, right? Fuck. Shout out to Kevin Tamos. I miss him. We needed him. So I'm not really into sign language, but I did date. A, well, I had a kid with a Dominican girl, and her, her family didn't speak English, so everything was kind of in sign language. So I'm just like, like, you know what I mean? I was, but again, I, I like your point, Ant. You but like, I walked through the, valid. I walked, I showed first date in some heels and a fucking purse, and I'm oh, like, you, you know, want me to be a man? You have to earn that. Yeah, like, how cra- Hey, look at your fucking. Yeah, face. exactly, exactly. So why, so why is it <laughs> like so that normal? Dog, like that me so with the dog, is like. Why it so normal for women to walk oh, around talking about? Oh, shame, them? insults need to be right in guilt. That's what it is. Fuck, are you doing? It's construction. Shame, insults, guilt need to be right. That's what it is. Sign language. Okay, so all right, cool. So Shame, insults need to be right. Shame, Shame insults insult need, need to, to be, be right. And guilt. No, guilt needs to be right. Right? Sign. Yeah. yeah. Sign language. Bro, well, I'm not. It's like Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels. Yeah. But again, back to Ann's point. If we're doing that, we'll never. The nigga doing that will never have a wife. No. So. So why do the women do anything they're gonna get a husband? 
You know, that is a great valid point because I don't see them too. And it's crazy because the shorty that was sitting there talking about that, um, when Ayana asked her if she would date a bus driver and she said if he owned the bus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ebony K. Williams. Now all of a sudden she's singing a different tune. She's singing a different tune now. She's going with the sign language uh, momentum of um, Kevin Samuel's rhetoric and talking about red pill shit. And she's literally sitting there talking about how women need to go for their NBA, JD, whatever the fuck degrees they're talking about in her MRS degree. Try to become a Mrs. by spring. My thing is... is Get the ring by spring. She's a little bit different, but same as Candace Owens. Like, Candace Owens. These are women that are speaking from a place of privilege. All right, Vivica A. A. Fox. They're, they're speaking from a place of privilege at a time. Like, they're, they're a product of the things we talk about yeah. on the show, and they don't realize it. I know, but that's my point. My point is, is that she was going with that she would only date a bus driver if he owned the bus. Now she's sitting here and she's singing the fucking tune about how at the end of the day that women need to know what's on the back end before you sign up for this type of lifestyle. I don't think she's referring to herself though. A lot of people try to say she I'm not saying she is because she... what people have to understand there's always going to be exceptions to the rule. Like when mm-hmm. when I had the conversation with Kevin Samuels, we talked about that. There are exceptions to the rule. And there's the unicorns of, of every scenario. There's always that because that's what keeps balance. That's the anomalies. We get that. But what I'm saying is is that for the general public who clings to the, the fantasy, because that's really what it is. We all sell to a fantasy. People literally said. look at me and they want my life. And I'm like, why? But that's why she corrected herself. That, so that, I see nothing wrong with <clears throat> That's why she corrected herself. Because she realized in the moment she was speaking from her own position. Right. She's in a position to have that stance. Right. I think she pedaled back a little bit because she understands that her audience doesn't. Right. But but she yeah. that's not her fault. But see the thing we is, can't fault social her media is just fantasy in general. Social media. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah no, it's a hell of so, fantasy. So those people that are on, what's it called? It's called Manosphere, right? Yeah. <clears throat> All yeah. those women and guys right. are on the, the Manosphere podcast and shit, right? They say they say one thing just for views they and just say for what content. They think everybody wants to hear. Yeah, but in real life, they're doing the complete opposite a lot of times. Like, Same thing to my point earlier. The, the the girls walking around on Instagram talking about how they need a nigga to do this, this, yeah. and that. But there's a nigga in their bed that hasn't had a job. So like, I know a lot of listen, listen. I know. I, listen, I've dealt with a lot of women. I've dealt with a lot of women. I've we dealt. Know. I've dealt with women where I've been employed. I've dealt with women where I've been an entrepreneur. And then I've dealt with women where I didn't have shit. He needs to be stopped. I've dealt with women where I didn't have shit. If they fucking like you, they fucking like you. It don't matter what your what what facts of what face of life you're in right now. If they like you, they're gonna fucking they're gonna yeah, fucking no, rock fact. with you. Trust me. It's fact. Trust me. So for I'm all them niggas, as a woman. For, for all them niggas that are like, oh, all those manosphere, all them, 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 all them niggas, all them niggas that be on them, them pod, the main aspect podcast. Like, if you're you're not making seven figures, you're not gonna get a girl. That is fucking bullshit. Because I have been, there's been times where I've made zero fucking dollars, and I, and I've had the baddest bitch in the fucking world. I just fumble it because I'm a piece of shit. But if I was not, I said this self awareness. You think you need all of that shit to get women? Just remember that at 19, I had no job and was knocking bitches down. That's what I'm saying. Bitch. Dude, I'm twin saying, mattress. On a twin mattress in my mom's listen, porch bedroom. I would tell you right now, I don't even give a fuck if she watches it, but I fucked one of the sexiest women in this fucking state on an air mattress that I had to blow up every fucking 30 minutes. Oh, that was the days. And she didn't fucking care. And people will sit here and be like, you were young, you were wrong. Nah, I was like 28. Nah, I be, I be trying think, to tell people. You know why? Do you, think she, do you think that was the first air mattress that she fucked on? Nope. No. Exactly. But not nope. even just that, but at the end of the day, like us as females, we are wired that if you are exactly what we envision you to be to us, that's all that matters. Exactly. How many times do you see women that will date a dude that got a small dick and then she's so in love with him and she does the most for him but when they break up, she's em- emphasizing on that part. Oh, well. But, or, like, she'll sit there and she'll, you know, fuck him again afterwards and be like, damn, your shit was small. Okay. Because it was big because it was filled with love. <laughs> like, <laughs> literally, us female, I really don't understand the fucking uh, biology, biological makeup some of us sometimes because, that's like, we difference. literally that's, do that's get what, lost in it. I was different, though. Because a couple of my exes, like, 
we would like fuck after, and like there's no love there, and it was still like yo nigga, <laughs> like what you doing Thursday? <laughs> I was like, oh, I think I have toxic nigga dick. I was like, oh shit. It? It's just I need like, to get married because this is dangerous. These girls, like, a lot of the times that I've, and I, listen, listen, like I said, a lot of those Gen Z people come to me for some reason because they all watch this and they just come to me for some reason for advice because they just, like, whoa, I, how do you do it? It's just, it, it doesn't matter. You just got to be him. No, you just got to be authentic. You got to be authentic, which. Because we don't have that in this world. Everybody wants to fucking follow a trend. And that's why I don't fuck with people. At the end of the day, you got fucking, um, like, the way that females operate. Like, the fact that they wear damn near bikinis to go outside on a regular day. Did you see that Instagram post? For what? I think it was uh, Tim Batch or Tim Box. That said. guy's not funny. What? He's funny when he acts. His, I don't, I don't, his skits are eh. I don't, I don't actor. think his skits are funny. He's a good actor. Um, but uh, it, was like women, it was like women in bikinis, and there was two girls. And they were like getting ready, and then the boys came in the room and like, "Oh, you guys are ready? Let's go!" And they were like, "All right, cool." And then it was like women in underwear, and then like the guys walked in the room, and they're like, "Oh my god, what are you doing? Get out!" <laughs> yeah, what? makes no makes no <laughs> goddamn sense. You post up pictures in your fucking thongs all day, but then like you see a you 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 get all embarrassed when you fucking show a, a tit pops on on Facetime. Like, Yo, bitch, I've seen everything. To the comfort thing, do you know how many great titties I saw in my life because my female friends have just always been comfortable changing them for me. A lot. I've seen some great titties in my life. <laughs> I, I'm very good. I just good. see a good titty, appreciate it, and keep it moving. I'm not going to hoggle over you it. You see, like, when I, when, I, when I approach a girl, a woman, I always, I, always guess their, I always guess their bra size. I just guess it. A lot of times I'm right, too. Like, how do you know that? Pfft, seen a lot of tits. Seen a lot of titty in my day. Seen a lot of tits. I've been on this planet for a long time. Seen a lot of titties. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I can guess. I can I've guess. I've seen a lot of titty. I've felt a lot of titty. But, I can tell the titty by the weight. But yeah, but, but see, like, <laughs> but see, like, Jocelyn, Jocelyn's right. You, you don't meet a lot of authenticity in this world. No, you don't. You really because don't. Everybody's following up. And everybody's fat. fake. That's what, Their bodies are fake, too. Listen, do you remember we talked about, like, when I was knocking them down? Me. I'm me. Just gotta be you. Whatever. Just gotta I'm be you. The, I'm the anime watcher. I'm the fucking nerd that knows about computer. I'm this nigga, no matter which. Swag I try to put on. Yeah. Like, you see, and that's my thing. You see, when everybody's like, "How do you, how do you get these girls when you act like this?" Because they know this is me. This is not a fucking act. They know. Literally, it's not a act. This, they know this is what you're gonna guy, get. On Family Guy, uh, Quagmire. He was like, "You want to know, like, know why?" He was like, "He was like, you want to know why I uh, have sex with so many women, or what can I do, or why my success rate is so high?" It's not because I'm telling them I'm going to be in love with them. No, I want to be that mistake that they make and try to forget three years from now. <laughs> like, <laughs> They'll never forget it because I, I, I give you a good time. You, know, you have fun. That's the thing. A lot of women want to have fun. Kevin Samuel said that. Women like to have fun. Women do want to have fun, but I'm also going to tell you women are liars. And like, They're all fucking of, liars. A lot of them are going to forget you. Like, it, 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 take about, it take about three years her like seven inch to forget. I will tell you this right now, and I'll look at the camera so, like, as I say. This shit like nine inches, and that's like a five year gap. Listen, I'm sorry. Listen, I, I will say this right in the camera. What's that? What's that? That, that thing on the internet? Is that, is that that guy math? Is that boy math? Boy math. Stupid shit. She does girl math too. <laughs> but like, I'll look in the camera when I say this. Right? If you fuck with me, I have a big fucking mouth. I say whatever the fuck I want, and I'm gonna hurt your feelings. You will never forget the shit I say to you, ever. He's adding that to the. <laughs> And also, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> <Four minutes. All> right. <laughs> Let's get to the last topic. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> he turns red, and that's the weight in him. <laughs> because, wow, Jocelyn, it rolled off the tongue so effortlessly. <laughs> Like to the point, like I have to believe it he calls because it just how effortlessly she said it, you can tell how often it gets said. Like I have to believe it. I know he's the reason. He says it all the time. He's like, oh my god, bro. He says it all the time. Like what the fuck? And I say to myself, <laughs> what a why? wonderful world. What a wonderful world. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, she is one of them. And I actually. I had a good conversation with her today. She told me she was single. Do, do I think she's lying? Absolutely. But 
she told me she's single, which means there's always a chance. Because if you did have a boyfriend, you actually did like him, you would tell me, right? Yeah. But if you, yeah, but if, if you, the answer out of your mouth when somebody says, "Do you have a boyfriend?" is anything but yes, you always have a shot. Cause you, it's because it's because you have a chance. If you say maybe, if you say I might, if you say not tonight, if you say who's asking, even a who's asking. If you ask me what I'm asking, if you have a boyfriend, I'm in there. I'm already in your head. Not only that. You might not even know I'm in your head, but I'm in your head. Because there's an intrigue that makes you want to know why you shouldn't just say yes right away. Even if you don't have a boyfriend, if you're not interested, you're going to say yes. But see, like, here's the Hold thing. On, what? Listen, I'm in a situation right now where if I just came correct. Did I stutter? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, listen, yeah. I'm in a situation. I have a situation where if I came correct, I'd probably be in a relationship right now. But I'm not no, going to come correct. Like I don't want to. engaged wanna. going into marriage. But no, anyways, but his... I digress. Rose colored tugs, baby. But and, I don't want... And my... I'm just going to be like, act like... When they said it about object, I'm like, oh shit, my bad. But I don't want to come correct. <laughs> I was going to... I'll say it on that camera. I don't want, want to come correct, so... I was going to say it's it. Stay, it's going to stay this I'll way. Say, I'll say it on Because, you know why? Because if I, if I want things to happen, I want it to happen on my terms. I don't want it on your fucking terms. All right, you know what? We're going to end the night here. Um, it's true. I want like, it on my share, terms. Subscribe. We'll be back soon. We'll be back. Um, hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe, bell. Get our numbers up so we can start dropping the real stories. Yeah. Yo, we got some stories. Yo, a thousand subscribers, and I will tell y'all some shit. I will keep celebrity names. Remember, a hundred thousand. I'm ready to tell the story That's about. That's what I'm saying. A hundred thousand. I'll tell y'all which porn star I fuck. All right. Yeah. Bye, get guys. get a thousand likes. I'll tell you about the gangbang. Gangbang. Which one? <laughs> Oh, so... All right, bye.